Hi my awesome friends, it's challenge time and today I'm participating in a challenge called Homemade Junji's DIY. Let's start with DIY number one. I got these wood rounds from Michaels and I used the cardinal red on one of them and then I used the white Adirondack chalk paint. So I have three different um, designs and we'll go through each one of them. I used this cute little paper from Hobby Lobby and I just cut out my little um, gingies and then I'll attach it to the wood round and decorate it. So I'm going to adhere the little gingies to the wood round with a uh, Mod Podge. So I want to put a good coat on the wood and then some on the gingy paper as well. And then um, since it's still wet, I still have a little bit of time to move things around to get it in the proper placement. So I'm just adding the two here. And I wanted the little boy and little girl to have their hands um, close together so it looks like they're holding hands. And then you just put a coat of Mod Podge over the top to seal it. And now on to embellishing. So I'm going to go ahead and take this really pretty rope and I'm going to just attach it all the way around the um, wood round. Now I'll add a bow and the string to hang it. I just used a simple um, small silver ribbon for the hanger and then that little bow came from the Dollar Tree. Now the bow is a little large and it does um, kind of cover up the top of the gingy so I'll go ahead and um, glue one part of it down to prevent um, my picture from being obscured. Now before we move on to the next DIY, let's talk about the challenge. It's homemade Gingy's DIYs. It's all about gingerbread. Now the host, we have two of them. One is Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World and she loves Gingy's. And Sarah from Juju B DIYs. Both of these ladies have great channels, great DIY ideas so make sure you go over and check out what they did for this challenge as well as the rest of the playlist. Now let's go on to the next DIY. So for DIY number two we have another wood round ornament using those cutout gingies. This one I'm using this really pretty white and silver um, rope and I'm just applying it around the outside edge and then we will embellish the front. Now I thought about using that same bow for this one, but I didn't like how it um, covered up some of the pictures. So I'm taking this little piece of greenery from the Dollar Tree, um, I guess they use it for a filler and a wreath um, and I'm just going to add that to the top of that and then those cute little bows that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'll just add that um, and that way I have um, some kind of decor on the front but I'm not covering up my picture. Now 
DIY number three is the last wood round with the Genji pictures. So again, I just um, adhered the pieces on to the wood round with the Mod Podge. I really like this one. He looks like he's got a little bite out of his head. Like somebody was sipping on the hot cocoa and the gingerbread man. <laughs> he looks super cute. So again, you want to make sure you put a coat of Mod Podge over the top to seal it so that it doesn't um, come up. Super cute. Now I'm going to apply this um, twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's uh, tan and white and I think it looks pretty good with the colors in the Gingy picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, put that all the way around just to give it some really pretty look. And then I'll add an embellishment. Now you need to take the fuzzies off so it can give it more of a little polished look. And then I'm gonna use this satin ribbon for the hanger. And then we'll add a um, piece of that bow. Again, that bow is way too big for that. So I cut down a piece of it and I'm just gonna adhere it to the top with a little bit of hot glue and add some of these cute little, what are they, little um, balls. <laughs> from the Dollar Tree, they come with the red and the green. So I'm just gonna add three of those to the top and that will be complete. So DIY number four. So I had these cute um, gingerbreads that I got from the Dollar Tree and I went ahead and painted them with the caramel and then I took this Posca white pen and I just made my designs um, using that. In the past I tried to use the puffy paints and um, it just wasn't giving me a fine enough tip so I decided to go ahead with the Posca pen. So I did different designs as you can see on each one and I'm going to go ahead and use this for an ornament. So now I'm taking a piece of this ribbon. I got this from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm always just going to hot glue um, the top piece of that ribbon around the toothpick and that will be my first, um, the top part, the rod, I guess you can say. Now I'm going to add this nice rope. Again, I used this uh, in the previous project and I'm just adding it here and that will be my hanger. And then I will add uh, some decorative um, items to the edge of that because we don't want those little pokey things sticking out. Now it's time to add the gingerbread men. And I'm gonna place three of them on this strip. And then after I did that, I decided to put the Merry Christmas sticker on there, as you can see. And then I'm just going to embellish the top with these cute little red bows, also from Hobby Lobby. And this turned out so cute. Great ornament. Kids will love it. 
So DIY number five is basically the same as DIY number four, just used a different ribbon um, and um, the embellishment at the top was a little bit different, but overall the same, the Gingies um, had different designs on them. But again, um, it's a great way to use up that leftover ribbon that you have and to make a cute little ornament. And here's the final reveal of all of the items on my Christmas tree. Aren't they adorable? I love that one. That one's my favorite. I like the um, colored of the colors of the rope, um, and it really works really nice with the pictures. So tell me what you guys think. Which one was your favorite? And um, be sure to go over to the playlist and see what the rest of the creators um, came up with for this challenge. If you're not already subscribing, please consider. And if you like what I did, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day and keep crafting.